yeah, the weather is getting really bad. I just got a warning saying take shelter. Um, yeah, well, you know what? I'm in the middle of it now. It is uh, December 15th. I got the windows down, sunroof open, racing home on gravel roads. Trying to get through this as fast as I possibly can. It is eerie, guys. It's real eerie. That whole calm before the storm, wind's picking up, humid, very very eerie out, a lot of dirt in the air, sky is orange, you can see uh, families at home, they already took shelter in the basement, I got to drive in that direction, so that's home, is over there, I gotta drive straight in the storm, so I'm on my phone, so I apologize for the quality, but I'll try to document it as much as I can case for whoever finds this well let's hope it doesn't go that way but like i said i'm not going to be stuck at work storm will be near pacific junction around 4 15 p.m glenwood and malvern around 4 20 p.m take cover now move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building avoid windows if you are outdoors in a mobile home or in the National Weather Service in Omaha has issued a tornado warning for northwestern Fremont County in southwestern Iowa, Mills County in southwestern Iowa, East Central Cass County in southeastern Nebraska until 4.45 p.m. At 4.12 p.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Murray, 24 miles south of Omaha, moving northeast at 85 All right. miles per hour. Winds are here. I gotta close the windows up. The following attacks are expected. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near. Pacific Junction around 4 15 p.m. So currently I'm in a valley where there's a lot of trees. I've got to get out of this valley, people, because uh, this is not a safe place to be. I can't see the sky. I can't see the horizon. I can't see what's coming over the hill. And I can't tell what debris is going to be hitting. So they're basically saying if you're in a trailer or a mobile home, it's getting destroyed. All right, so... Until 4 .45, a I've got to uh, I'm gonna put the camera down I got to concentrate on driving because visibility is real bad um, winds are high stuff's blowing across the road now I got to watch for trees and stuff so if uh, I hope hope this doesn't hit us God I hope this doesn't hit us Whew. Y'all pray for everybody. All right, so there's a tornado heading my way. And uh, they say it's moving northeast to Council Bluffs towards Underwood, where I'm at right now, moving at 85 miles an hour. I can't drive. I can't see. I turn back to head to a gas station for shelter because uh, this is getting real. The wind got too strong. I couldn't see. All right, yeah, so there's a tornado. I got to the gas station. There's a tornado moving my direction. I'm in Crescent, Iowa right now. I came from Underwood, Iowa. That um, And there's a tornado northeast of Nebraska, Omaha, Nebraska, which puts Crescent right there, moving 85 miles an hour. I was going down the road. I could not see. I had to turn around. Um, I pulled off to the side of the road, but when, the minute that it said that there was a tornado heading my way at 85 miles an hour, um, I head this way and guys this sky is the wind's dead everything died if i can get the there's no wind everything just stopped now it's just sprinkling y'all know what that means all right i gotta call home i couldn't see on this road people this is where i turned around right here I could not see. I must that tornado must have been right going right past me because it it is gone. It, it this is literally seconds 
I was at, I got to the gas station just in time for it to pass over, but there is nothing going on now. It is absolutely completely clear out. They must be responding to something. I mean, this was all blacked out. I mean, the wind van, the rain van. Yep, there you go. I was right here. There's damage in the field. I knew that son of a bitch was right on top of me. Man, I am lucky, folks. I am lucky. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens when I go down my driveway here. All right, let's pull it up. I don't know, there's a stick right there. I don't think we'll ever recover. Yeah. Sorry, it's dark. Uh, it looks like I gotta... Ugh. Yeah, it looks like a... Nothing, a couple small sticks. Someone's generator's running already. They must be. I think we got power everywhere. Oh my gosh, look. That corn, corn stock stuck in the grill of this car. Well, I can tell you that the trail didn't fare out too well. I'm gonna, oh no. Uh, I got fences down. I got a lot of fences down. All right, let me get the GoPro out. I gotta do damage control on the property. All right, well. I don't know how well the GoPro is gonna see out here, and I hope it doesn't just start pouring on us, but we got a good sized tree down, go fence. We got trees down on the trail. Yeah, here's our, we gotta start working on this now so the goats can stay in. Oh my gosh, we got trees down everywhere. Yep. How bad's the fence? Oh yeah, it ripped it to shreds I might just have to move goats into the in another pin or temporary fence that off nothing hit the house these are the trees I was worried about right here hitting but uh they just landed right here across so I'm gonna go in the goat pen see if we got anything else down oh man Maybe I can get that fence uh, fixed up and going and secured before it gets dark. Gunder, you're gonna have to stay here. All right, bud? Let's go check on these goats and see how they're doing. Oh yeah. A lot of destruction in here, guys. A lot of destruction. Oh, there's all kinds of stuff knocked down. Let's see if the goats are in their house or if they escaped. You guys okay? Looks like you guys are okay. Yep. Well, the goats are inside their goat house. I'll uh, hunker down. There's the sound of chainsaws working in the background. It doesn't look like any of the perimeter fences are down. I'll have to go check this back one. Son's going to get the DeWalt chainsaw. Oh, it looks like my plexiglass got ripped off. Yeah. That was a little bit from the last time. Um, yep. My plexiglass got, got ripped off. I don't know how this happened. But, uh. Let's see here. We'll just set that right there for now. You guys make it through the storm okay? You stay inside. Let me get up here and uh, help my son because it's going to start pouring. It's not going to let up. We're still, we're still in warnings. We're still, everything still holds true. We just have to, uh, we're gonna have to work through this and get wet, is all. All 
All right, bud. Hand me that saw. I'm gonna get the main stuff off of this fence. We're gonna get this big stuff off the fence. Hopefully we can get this fence back up and going. Stand back. This thing's gonna spring. Alright, well, it could have sprung. We don't want it to spring. Alright. I hope you grab a good hope you grab a good battery. Yeah, three uh, three bars. All right, well, let's uh, let's go grab some stuff to fix this fence. Okay. Let's get it up temporary, get it going. Let me get this one thing down. Yeah. Whew. You got poked everywhere. Yep. All right, well. Hopefully we still have a little bit of light. These GoPros aren't good in low light situations and I'm not gonna bring my cannon out here. <laughs> so I'm gonna try not to bust my butt falling down this hill. I'm gonna get some stuff to fix the fence. Yeah, nothing looks like nothing fell over there. No, maybe I don't have to take, maybe I don't have to take the day off tomorrow and, and cut branches, but I think I'll I- take the day off tomorrow. Oh, I mean, I'd love to take the day off, but. Money. Only if we have to. He's so happy. He is. He's, He's just trotting around, having a good old time. Well, my buddy Brent's here for some reason. What's up? I bet you had some shit down, you right? Yeah, I'm uh, fixing fences right now. <laughs> we need to get out of the truck that way he didn't jump up on the truck. Trying to fix some fences. The ghost fences are down over there because we had a two, a couple big trees come down. But uh, I don't know, nothing bad. Cool. Just YouTubing it. I figured as much. I just figured I'd stop by and see if you need to do Yeah, I got caught in it. Now we're in Crescent. I got it on tape. Well, most of it. Some debris out there. Yeah, so you can find a way to pull a ring ring camera off mine. You can see a bit here. Oh man, <laughs> it was bad. Yeah. It scared the shit out of me, Brent. Dude, I don't don't believe in it. In my not. car. I was down in the basement. Oh my god. <laughs> like, yeah, this is getting different. Well, we're gonna try to get this fence before it gets dark. I appreciate you stopping by unless you want to hang out for a bit. Don't bother me, but I just gotta get going on this. Which fence is it? one on the corner there. Yeah, I'll, I'll hang out for a bit. Alright. Come here, Gunder. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And she's ran upstairs to another light though. Yeah. You know, you know those tornadoes can't get you if you turn the lights off. It'd be like, ah, no one's home. Damn it. Thought someone would be home. Guess what? We'll they hit the next house, the tornado says. <laughs> What's up, Goober? He's just having a good old time. He's all hyped up. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, the only thing I'm gonna try to do is I guess I'll try to get this. Get yeah, I don't think I have any staples in here. Yeah, hammering staples. Oh. I'm gonna have to try to tie tie this back up. So. Yeah. This thing is screwed, man. Yep. I'm gonna have to try to. I'm gonna have to probably wind up replacing this mm -hmm. yeah. section. <sighs> Trick is just grab the middle. Yeah, pull it in, put it back up. This is like a police or an ambulance or fire truck. Oh, well, there's some damage. What's that? There's damage, pretty much. Uh, the owner, the owner, I owe 
kid got hit. Yeah, that's where I work. Yeah. You know, yeah. Buck Snort, Viola. Yeah. Underwood, right down the road. I don't know how bad it is. Damn it. Slow down, Mike. Got a lot of puppies upset. We're still in, still in a thunderstorm morning. Yeah, they pretty much canceled everything. Did they? Yeah. Everything's just damage control now. Yeah. I didn't see too much driving home. I mean, there's a quite a bit, but not a. He's coming this way. Not a lot. I think that's all we're gonna do for now. It's hold water. <laughs> hold goats. Uh, the goat? <laughs> get that fish. Get that fresh woodcut smell. Get that. Get that fresh, fresh pine <laughs> smell. The fresh woodcut smell. Oh yeah, this thing's all. Yeah, she's twisted hardcore. We'll be doing some work this spring. Can't wait, buddy. Yeah, right. <laughs> Brent's the one that helped me put the fence in, if you guys don't remember. <laughs> I'm gonna show right back up. Yep. Well, my Jackson Mullins was gonna pick you guys good, and she said, trees, your fences are down, trees are down, and they're running the chainsaw. I said, I'm on my way. <laughs> I said, I think I said, I was like, that's not bad. It wasn't that bad. It could have been worse. Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't know what's going on up there. I said, the ambulance. Well, fire truck was first. That's the ambulance there. Yep. What the lake one looks like? Oh, I don't know. Here and there, that's all I see on the way out. I know this is a. I expected to see this when I got here. This mm. is, this is to be expected. But, well, I'm done for the night. You guys, I will try to upload this like I said as fast as possible, so you guys aren't waiting. But we're good. Not that big of a storm. Some scary moments, but just got some fences to fix. It's all so. Appreciate you guys watching. See you on the next episode.